Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today there's a ghost here evidently. <laughs> Wait, that's a really weird shadow. It's from two points? There's someone up here? Sorry, my name is Jason and today we're playing The Witcher. Last time we uh, we uh, found out- oh, I'm willing to bet it's this guy. Uh, we ran into Vincent. Vincent's a bit of a, um, he's had a bit of a, a makeover. He's a little bit different than we uh, remember him. Uh, he's actually a uh, werewolf. He's the, probably the werewolf that we are, uh, we are looking for, that we wanted to sort of help for Carmen. Uh, so, I figured, you know what, hey, um, before we continue on with the other stuff that we ran into last time, which we'll talk about as, you know, as we get into things, uh, I figured we would, um, go find and talk to Carmen first. Um, I seem to have forgotten where Carmen resides, but, um, it w was it this door? Let me, let me, let me take a look at my map real quick here, because I've got the red dot, eager size brothel, okay. So I guess this was the place. Oh, let me, let me see, signboard. Of course, it says right there. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and talk to Carmen uh, about her boyfriend. Greetings. You've returned safely. The Hierophant revealed the cure for lycanthropy, but I must know your beloved's name. I'll not betray my man's identity. I'd rather he stay a werewolf. Carmen, I already know that Vincent's the werewolf. Please don't hurt him. I'll try to help him. Listen carefully. Yes? Okay. So I spoke to the Hierophant about your man's affliction. I, I believe he, we're referring to um, some of the druids in the swamp. Or somebody, sorry, in the swamp. Uh, what's your real name? That's an interesting question as well. Is, is it really Carmen? Um, I don't know why that's relevant about anything, but... Maybe we should ask? Hmm. Okay, let's let's start with the top. I I don't know why we'd uh, be accusing her of not being named Carmen, but I I guess maybe it's maybe it's a, a lore thing, or maybe it's maybe it's a common thing. I don't know. I've never spoken or even really thought about speaking to. Anyways, let's just go to. I spoke to the Hierophant about your man's affliction. I spoke to the Hierophant about your man's Thought. affliction. Oh. Overnight, Vincent should wear a shirt woven from fool's parsley, and the spell will be lifted. That's what I'll do. Well, there we go. I also happen to bring some parsley leaves, uh, so you can go ahead and uh, weave a shirt for him using it. Uh, wait, I, I'll fetch some fool's parsley leaves, or I already brought some? I think we already have some. You know, as evidenced by the fact that we can choose to say so. I brought the parsley leaves. Weave a shirt for Vincent to lift the spell. Thank you. I'll start immediately. I have a feeling Vincent's gonna be really upset with us. Um... I'm so I should check on Carmen at some uh, time to see if, uh, if it worked. Now, I'm curious, I'm, I'm wondering if we're gonna come back sometime and find her dead. And then it's going- mm. then we're gonna have to hunt down Vincent and be like, Okay, I'm sorry dude, you gotta go. Um... I, I, I do want to ask her about her real name, though. Before before her possible death, uh, because everything in this game happens to go wrong. Everything goes wrong in this game. Uh, oh, let's ask... My man is important now. All right, so we can't ask about her name. All right, so we'll, we'll step out the door. Uh, I guess that's a missed opportunity. We don't get to ask about her real name. We'll save the game and re-enter. Maybe, maybe, maybe enough time has passed. Did the shirt cure Vincent? Oh, okay, well... Uh, Amazing that she may have already met Vincent. Okay, let's get to the name right now while we can. What's your real name? Hella, but that's too common. Hella. Okay. Cool. Did the shirt cure Vincent? It was terrifying. The moon appeared, Vincent transformed, shredded the shirt, and ran off. Calm down, Carmen. Maybe another method will be more effective. Yes? Hmm. Farewell. All right, I need to try all the known, uh, all the known remedies for lycanthropy, like my silver sword, for instance. Um, what's the other means? Let me, let me see, let me see. Uh, I want to, so I want to see um, the other uh, methods. Fool's parsley. Okay, there we go. Uh, the hierophant, font, whatever. Uh, Describe three different cures for lycanthropy: a shirt woven of fool's parsley leaves, a magic medicine only an alchemist can prepare. So maybe we should uh, make a stop by and talk to Kalkstein. Uh, and true love. Ooh. Well, if true love is the only thing, then. Mm, 
I don't know how to break it to Hella slash Carmen. Maybe, you know, um, he's not that into you. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I should find Carmen who must be back in the- if she reveals the world's human identity, I can determine if he remains a man at heart or if he's a all beast. Well, he is uh, a man at heart, so... Uh, I guess we'll uh, leave him be for the time being. Okay, so, now that we've talked to, um... To her... Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go drop by the uh, dentist place. Uh, cause I just- I just noticed this here, it says, I killed the great wolf. And I'm guessing... No, there's no other active, um, things, no other, uh, other phases that I, I, I've run into, but I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if that had to do with that named wolf we killed out in the swamp. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm killing something. Uh, so I'm wondering if that's what it is, and I'm wondering if we got a fang from it. Um, so we need to go talk to the Royal Huntsman, which apparently is over in the Temple District. Uh, but I figured since we are over here in, no, no, we are in the Temple District, sorry, the Trade District. Um, but I figured since we are here already, I'll stop by the dentist place and... Maybe, uh, I've got a tooth, he'll, uh, be like, oh, cool, and stuff. Hi, I'm Geralt. I'm the reverse tooth fairy. I break into your house to give you teeth. Nope, guess, guess not. We're good. Care. Never mind. You get a crack tooth. Oh, Triss is outside. Door to Triss's house. Interesting. Come to the banquet. If you like, we'll talk there. But you're going to your house. Okay, because uh, I, I just searched for the um, the quest on my map here, um, lock and key, and the thing was telling me to come down here to the new Nerecord Inn, and then I just happened to see her on the street, and I'm like, oh, cool, I can talk to her on the street, but if she's at her house, why don't I just talk to her here? Um, my guess is that she's upstairs. I would be wrong. Huh. She vanished. Well, that's great. Let's try that again. Alright, we got to the top floor this time. Alright, so let's go ahead and, um... Since I really- there was no other real leads, uh, I checked on Blue Eyes. Um, I check, you know, the the dentist. I fear I'm gonna wait uh, until date uh, daybreak to talk to the huntsman. Really, there was nothing else. So I figured, hey, let's go ahead and talk to um, Triss and Louvarden here at the new narrow court. I'm assuming Triss is here. Wait, I think I saw her name uh, on the other side here. Uh, Triss Marigold, and she's with um, a nobleman and his female companion. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to Triss before Louvarden because. Um, I guess, I guess there's more of a history Praise with Triss, so I figure it's- would you shut up? Yes, I know I talk a lot. Um, <laughs> I guess we're gonna trust Triss a little bit more than, um, Louvarden. Witcher. Listen, I found a magical stone at the Salamandra hideout. Interesting. Let me see. Geralt, it's a telecommunicator. It leaves a magical trace of any transfers. Use plain language. With a bit of luck, we can use this to find the Salamandra base. So... I need to speak with Louvarden. We'll talk later. Wait, no, I wanted to talk about my identity. I should get back to the banquet and speak with Triz or Louvarden. I need some time to myself. Come back later. No, you don't! You don't need time with yourself! You need time with Louvarden! You just said that! I knew it. I knew it. She's gonna... She's... The Wait, where is he? Captivating beauty. Where did he go? Oh, <gasps> they both vanished. Oh no, oh he's over here, he came over here. Hey, let me talk to you, guy. We have news about Salamandra. Good news, I hope. Alas, no, its influence reaches further than we anticipated. And you have an offer for me. Why the sarcasm? Salamandra has strong political backing. We've been unable to convince town or military authorities to take them on. How's that possible? I suspect it relates to recent suspicious edicts. What will you do? We need support. An army unit or similar force. How does that involve me? We'd like you to negotiate with our potential allies. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. You want the the the, the scary looking dude with the charisma of a rock 
to, well, maybe he's a little bit more charismatic than that, but still, uh, to do your negotiate. I don't know. To, to me, this screams video game. Like, <laughs> I don't know. To me, this is like, you're, you're, you're the chosen one. You're the main player. So, you know, you've got to be the one who does this. When I really don't think Geralt is the best one to be doing the negotiating. So that's kind of a, seems a little bit uh, dumb to me, but so, you know what? Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to play with that. I'm going to play with that mentality. I'm going to say, no, you, you know what, Luvarn, you're mad. You crazy. You're mad, Luvarden. No. Only one lasting solution to this problem remains. If you succeed, we will meet them here. Meet who? You didn't ask, you, you didn't give me a chance to ask who the people were. So, let's try that. Yes? May I ask something? May I ask something? Of course! I see many expensive foods here. How do you feel about Vizima's starving? Ha! Helping the slows in this city would bankrupt me in a day. If you helped a few. I'm a man of principle. If I helped the poor, I'd want to help all without exception. Hmm. You know, without getting into things, that seems like a pretty crappy reason not to help people. Like, I can't help everyone in the world, so what's the point of helping anybody? It's not fair. Okay, yeah. Be, be the change you want to see in the world, dude. Farewell. All right, let me see here. Lou Varden wants me to find new allies. We can't defeat Salamandra alone. The Elves, the Order, uh, and the Temerian State are the only potential allies I know of. Lou Varden doubts I'll be able to convince uh, Velarad, so that leaves the Elves led by Yavin and the Order with my friend Siegfried. Mm, yep, I guess we're going with Siegfried because I don't think uh, the elves really want to talk with us. So I guess that that leaves uh, that leaves Siegfried. Um, but at, at least I feel like Siegfried can be. I feel like he could be trusted. He feels pretty above board. Um, nah, I don't like where this is going. I really don't like where this is going, man. I, I, I'm feeling like Geralt right now. I'm like, oh, why do things have to get political? I just want to slay some monsters, right? No, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go back down the stairs, uh, and then hopefully if I go back up, uh, Triss will be there again, and I'll be able to, um, talk to her about my identity. Where, 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 where did you go? Are, are you gone? Like, do I have to go f find you at your house now? All these freaking Kikimors, they just keep... It's like, I can't just, I can't have a peaceful stroll through this, this district without getting attacked by these things at every turn. Ugh, stupid things. All right, there we go. Triss is sleeping. Hey, Triss, how's it going? Speak, then get out of my sight. Uh, oh, okay, fine. Um, <laughs> I'm like, why are you so touchy, Geralt? It's like three in the morning. You just woke me up. Just we'll get get. What is it? What is it? <laughs> I want to talk about my identity. <laughs> yes, yes, we were waking her up for these kind of chats. Listen about my identity. Progress already. I'm still analyzing, or I agreed to, uh, to help Siegfried and the Order of the Flame Rose. I wonder if the former Geralt would have done the same. I agreed to help Siegfried and the Order of the Flaming Rose. I wonder if the former Geralt would have done the same. Interesting. Why help the Order? What drove you to do that? Um... Alright, let's take a look at these options here. I concluded I'm human. Yes, I was subjected to mutation at Kaer Morin, but that didn't strip me of my humanity. And then I trained to protect humans. Hmm. I don't understand the non-humans. Of two evils, I think the Order is the lesser one. Hmm. No specific reason, I just decided to help the Order. Hmm. Really? In my case, it was a case of... You know, uh, hmm. It was kind of a Law of the Land type thing. Like, if we were in an Elven... Uh, they weren't the aggressors. So I don't feel like any of these options really... Um, fit my reasoning for my decisions. I hate this because it's actually making me sit here and kind of go, all right, I need to really consider my identity. Like, if if Geralt had been an elf, let's just say he had been an elf, would I have had the same mentality? And is 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 that ultimately what it is? Because, you know, <laughs> I, hate, I hate when real life kind of creeps into things, but I feel like with, with the, we'll say, the political tones and stuff like that, I can't help but dive into that a little bit. Like, um, you know, his perspective is everything. And, you know, uh, Geralt being human, uh, you know, he, he came from, uh, you know, being a human and then he was, you know, subjected to the mutations, yes. But he still, I'd say, largely has a human perspective on things uh, because that's where he comes from, in, you know, in life. Now, if he had been an elf, would he have had the same perspective? Would I have thought the same? You know, if, if let's say things had been swapped, 
Uh, and it was, you know, um, uh, let, uh, let's say if, uh, if Geralt was an elf, or let's just say if the, the entire town uh, was elvish, and uh, the people were the ones who were uh, attacking. Um, no, I still, I still think even if uh, uh, me playing a a human Geralt, I still would have, I would have sided with the elves if they were not the uh, initial aggressors. Hmm. I guess I'll go with number two. Like this, the, the top one makes it sound like I would have sided with. The humans at all costs, but the second one, I feel like it's, um, you know, I don't understand the non-humans. It kind of goes with what I was saying about perspective. You know, I, I come at this with a human perspective, and of the two evils at this current time, I feel like the order is the lesser one. Not all of all, not of all time. Obviously, the order is um, has done horrible things to the non-humans, and uh, at one point in time, I would call them the most evil. But um, it makes me wonder, you know, how many generations have passed? I, I'm not, I don't have all of the information. So based off only what I could see, you know, the the people killing innocents were the uh, the non-humans, and that's why I chose the, um, the 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 human side. It's it has nothing to do with I'm human, so therefore I'm going to protect humans. Uh, it's more of a uh, at the time I felt like the um, the most evil were the ones who were willing to hurt innocents. So. Um, I guess we'll go with the number two. I don't understand the non-humans. Of two evils, I think the Order is the lesser one. And therein lies the voice of reason. Hysterics and madmen who led youths to certain death always angered you. I'm not surprised you chose the Order. Was I really so reasonable? Unfortunately, though I admit there were times when you followed your heart. All this soul-searching has yet to restore my memory. Patience. We're on the right path. Hope so. Oh, wait, we're not done yet. No, no, get back. No, I'm, I'm about to wake you up again. Get up. Triss. 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 Speak, then get out of my sight. Know anything more about that magic communicator I gave you? Magic? Did I say magic? I said magi. That magic communicator. I don't even know what I said. Whatever. Know anything more about that magic communicator I gave you? It allows conversations over short distances. With some knowledge of magic, one can draw quite a bit of information from it. If the salamanders were using it to communicate with their base, I should be able to pinpoint its location. Short distances. Interesting. Can you check the last communication? The communicator sent a signal to a house in Vizima. It's marked on your map. Is there something I should know? I have a hunch. I'll check it out. All right, but be careful. Interesting. I'll see you later. So short distance, so whoever it was... Mark the destination of the magic signal from the stone. Let me take a look at my map. Magic trace, right there. Doesn't ring any bells right now. Um, maybe we should go check it out. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Alright, um, unfortunately, due to the, the crash I had and some of the, um, the, we'll say these, we'll say system issues there, getting things back in, uh, I, I, I did chew up a little bit of my time, and this is going to have to be a shorter one. I'm very sorry. Um, next time, we're going to go check out that house. And um, over there, the, the one with the magic trace. And, uh, you, know, you know, the usual stuff. We'll kill some monsters. It's what we do. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. And until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.